Ladies and gentlemen, today I am so excited to go ahead and unbox the Jordan 3 Cool Grays for you guys. Break them down, give an honest review of them, explain some of the details, how to legit check them, put a black light test on them, all of that type of stuff, and then give you guys my resale prediction and what I think the market is gonna do with these. And it'll let you know, should you buy them? Should you not? Are they a cop? Are they a drop? Whatever you wanna call it. And you know, I'm I'm just really excited to do this for you guys. I got exclusive access on this pair here. So got a little bit early. I know they just dropped on sneakers today and everybody's waiting for their pairs. And then there's a lot of people out here. You might be one of them that you're like, hey, should I buy these when everybody gets their pair from sneakers? Is it worth it? So I'm gonna break all that down for you guys. But before we jump into that, I do wanna mention, hit that like button if you enjoy the video, comment down below what your favorite detail is of the Jordan 3 Cool Grays. And last but not least, I have a link in the description of this video to join my cook group discord that is free. Other resellers charge you guys memberships, join their cook groups. I have it for free. We have like over a thousand members already who all help each other legit check. We have a safe marketplace. I have verified resellers that I've done business with that you can buy from, things like that. A lot of benefits, bots that help you know when restocks and things happen, all that type of stuff. So make sure you join the discord. First things first, we have the Jordan 3 box. It's got the elephant print over here, the red jump man in the middle. Very clean box. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. You can see the light, you can see the gloss kind of reflecting there. And that elephant print pretty much wraps around that entire side. You have your label, of course. When you're checking your label, your retail sticker should stand out. It should not be glued flat to the box. It should be like a flap. Making sure all of the fonts and everything look good and the QR code matches the nike app and all of that is always key when you're legit checking the rest of the box pretty standard nothing crazy nothing extra going on you got your cycle information all the you got your extra details on the bottom of the box nothing crazy but now let's go ahead and open the box so you open it you notice first thing you got some dope elephant print paper. That's a dope detail right there that they use the elephant print paper. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the left shoe, start breaking down the details. So first thing we notice, beautiful Jordan three soul. You got the Jordan in red. You got the gray and the white going back and forth. You have very prominent stars going around the toe box in that kind of swirl pattern that we see here. Next, when we're looking on the outer side of the left shoe, we notice all of this beautiful elephant print wrapping along the shoe. Very gorgeous with that smooth, cool gray finish. The very smooth, almost like suede like material, it feels like. Very soft. When we're looking at the stitching, um, we notice it's very, very neat, very concise, evenly spaced stitching that goes along the side of the shoes. We notice where the shoelaces go through, we have yellow accents. And that's kind of like one of the key um, details to the shoe is the yellow accents that you have. It's very interesting that they didn't go with an all gray and just have the red Jordan in the back. Um, it's very interesting that they use this like orangey yellow, um, kind of orangey golden accent to go along the shoe, the details of the shoe here, where the shoelaces go. And then inside the window, you can kind of see that detail. You can see the shocks in there, that they are a orangey golden kind of color inside. I think that's very, very interesting of a detail there that they have that colored well, and not just a regular white or a clear or anything like that. They use that, that orange accent color to match in the windows so that's super dope i've seen videos in like tiktoks and stuff of like people like popping this i don't recommend that <laughs> but uh i just thought that was funny i've seen videos of people you know popping their their shock windows and stuff very very crazy but um the detail of the, the jump man on the tongue is amazing a very soft suede material and then you have the jump man completely stitched in it's full stitching it's not a print um it's literally looks just completely stitched i love that you could see his his little laces there 
very very nice detail on the shoe um the tongue of course you have very breathable looking it's very nice i'm a big fan of threes man i think people sleep on them a lot um when we look uh, along the upper collar it's all very very soft materials it's, it's pretty interesting it's not like regular leather or anything like that you see like on jordan ones this is a huge detail here you have your jump man and it says air underneath with that orange color i really love the heel of the shoe this is a great detail here um probably the biggest thing that you're going to notice when somebody's wearing these is this detail back here it's very big very bold um stands out a lot i mean it's pretty gorgeous to me let me know what, what do you guys think of this right here I, ju I just think this just makes the entire shoe this look thick you got your gray you got your elephant print you got your air with the accent color and then the big jump man i'm a big fan of these i know a lot of fakes that i've already seen on the market they get the stitching really bad back here and look at it's really tight stitching very neat goes along the edges and the jump man look at where the ball goes almost all the way to the stitching some of the fakes the jump man's a lot smaller and you'll notice the ball will be like way down here and you'll have a big gap between the ball and the stitching so make sure you look out for that other than that um we just have you know our gray and our white accent rubbers along the uh sole on the bottom nothing too crazy this is a very simple very neutral easy shoe very easy to wear with pretty much anything man i mean gray is just such a neutral color um, i'm a big fan of these i really it bums me out that people sleep on three so much i think they're they're just a great shoe in general and then inside let's see we got white laces got our white laces i don't think this pair came with any other accent laces i would have loved to have seen this orange on laces or something like that that would have been lit we have a traditional cardboard shoe tree inside let's go ahead and see if we can take the sole out all right so we're going to take out and what we see on the bottom it seems like they did glue lines up until the top of the toe box so this is probably like where the start of your big toe goes this is my guess as far as length in the shoe and then your big toe kind of comes up and the rest of your toes kind of wrap up here but um glued very straight symmetrical lines you notice that the cutout is on the inner side that little cutout shape might be easier to see there and all it has on it it's a very soft material and it just has a red jump man so these are a men's size 13 but it's your player man you're dope so other than that let's go ahead and take a look at the other shoe See if there's any extra details in here that we might have missed. Maybe there's another pair of laces. I haven't really checked them out. We got our white lace, factory lace, and that's it. Just another shoe tree and no other laces. That's kind of a bummer. I would have loved to see the red or that orange color on laces. Um, I'm sure you're going to see some people on Instagram probably buy extra laces in that color where something to rock with these just make it extra loud. But I guess they just wanted to keep the pair really neutral when people wear them but other than that let's go ahead and put a black light on it and see if any of the details pop what to look for what you know what to see when we're legit checking all right guys so let's go ahead and put the black light on it first thing that i'm noticing is that there is pretty much no stitching on the shoe that is popping in the black light like some of my other jordan videos and things like that like jordan ones and things the white stitching will normally glow really big time under a black light all of the stitching seems to be very neutral and not really pop under a black light so when you're legit checking just making sure that you know nothing is popping up that shouldn't be popping up it's very very plain under a black light none of the details are really going crazy you'd be looking for like massive like extra stitch lines or things like that from where they messed up their tracers for the machine um but other than that you know the shoe is just a very very simple very easy to legit check the basics make sure there's no stamps no import stamps anything like that but nothing else is really too crazy under a black light which is great makes it easy to legit check what's real and what's not even on the inside of the shoe nothing crazy lights up um a lot of people are like hey when you legit check um you know what is like the biggest thing that you look out for what is the biggest detail you look for 
and something like the threes i've seen a lot of fakes get this wrong actually which is crazy but the sizing is on the tongue if you look at it it's like stitched into the tongue the whole way the size tag and i've seen a lot of fakes already where they have like a size tag on the side of the shoe like they just didn't even pay attention um to their design or maybe a design was changed before you know nike made their final decision and then the fakes just went with old blueprints of the shoe or something but it's very clear stitch onto here that's the main detail um the other thing like i said is noticing like the jump man placement very centered well the height of the basketball relative to the stitching like we talked about just making sure the font and the color looks good making sure the stitching um is just very clean and concise all the way around the shoe very tight very evenly spaced just those are the major details you would look for when you're looking for fakes and um, just making sure that obviously the box looks right the tag looks right on the box all of those types of things so now let's talk about resale because these ones are kind of in a weird position right like you know they're they're in the high twos right now but this is before people get their pairs so they'll probably sit around like 250 260 for a little while i'm gonna be honest with you guys it it's like a lunch money flip you might make 40 50 bucks on them when you get them but if you hold i think they're gonna go up we look at the jordan fours and the jordan four cool gray sat on shelves for a while they sat in personal collections for a while no one really got much resale value out of them but all of a sudden over the last couple of months they've kind of taken off people really love neutral colorways and even if it's a silhouette that isn't the most popular like the three or the four right now um i believe that just this clean silhouette is eventually going to take a little bit of time and then they'll go for a higher resale between the three to the 350 mark um i i would probably hold this pair unless i get a really good trade or a really good offer i can't refuse just because i want to see what the market does with these um i wouldn't pay over retail like if you can get them for retail just hold them just hold them if you if you got the opportunity to see what it does no matter what these aren't going to dip below retail you'll always be able to resell and get your money back on them at the very least but it's a good investment in my uh in my opinion to uh hold on to these and see what the market does in the next six months if you're a reseller where you just need inventory and you're stocking stuff and you're just seeing what you can hold and whatnot i think these are a great cop if you can get them for retail and i think a lot of people who pulled the trigger and bought them from sneakers um were hoping for quick profits and things like that and with the market gonna dip the way it does when people get their pairs in and they all sell on stock x and take lowest bids i think that resellers will be able to get these for very very close to retail and might be able to hold and make some money now if you're somebody who you have to buy to resell to make 50 to 100 dollars um, so you can buy the next shoe even or things like that or you don't want to hold um i would stay away from this pair because i think it's going to take at least six months before it's worth um really reselling and really getting some good money for so um that is my review for the shoe we broke down the details we talked about how to legit check it and i gave you guys my resale prediction on what i think is going to happen with them again let me know what you think in the comment section below about the shoe what's your favorite detail of it uh, join the discord hit a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out i'm always trying to give you guys the best information the most honest information at no cost to you guys so stick around subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace